Hello everyone. I just want to make a quick video today. First I did find um, an article that said, and I'll link to it, I'll go to it right now, the disease outbreaks map I like to look at, uh, just out of interest. I noticed that I live right here on the border of Wisconsin and Minnesota in, in Wisconsin, and I noticed that somebody got anthrax, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and they actually give the explanation that it was anthrax from natural causes because they had traveled, it was a woman who had traveled like from Montana to Minnesota in the wilderness and somehow she got, uh, you know, wild anthrax. But this popped up and it was interesting. And if we read about it, it's a phone manufacturing plant that got a letter in the mail that had two fused together batteries inside of it, and when the employee pulled them apart, it released a powder that gave them a numbing sensation on the eyes and skin, and a burning sensation, and ten people had to be treated for it. So my question to you guys that I would like to pose is, do you think that this is a false flag? Um, I think that it probably is. There are a few things about it that I find interesting. Number one is that they said that there's a note inside of the letter that said this was purposeful, that this person was trying to hurt them. And so it would be confusing to me why somebody would open a pack of batteries, first of all, unless they're used to getting batteries in the mail, but it's a phone manufacturing company, so I just don't know. Oh, maybe it was just like an entire package of batteries and two of them were fused together and so he pulled them apart. Um, anyways, but they said they also found a note, so it was interesting to me that nobody noticed the note before he started pulling the batteries apart from each other. So anyways, I'm wondering what you guys think of it. I think it's probably a false flag or something to reiterate the hatred that America is supposed to have for terrorists and Al-Qaeda, the government conceived organization and all of these things. And so I'm thinking that they're gonna make this big news and just remind America, hey, hate, hate Al-Qaeda, hate terrorists, in order to then do another type disaster, maybe 9-11 would be a lot worse than what they're planning on doing, hopefully I'm wrong. Um, otherwise I think this could be something to distract us from maybe weather manipulation or other things that they have going on. So I was curious on your thoughts. What do you guys think of this article? I'll post it and then you can tell me what you think. The next thing I was going to do is I just found a couple clusters of earthquakes again and I matched them up with volcanic areas and so I wanted to just do a short video because last time I did this uh, I did earthquakes around Mount Cleveland in Alaska and that day or that night the warning level went from advisory to watch and so there really is something to this if you are watching earthquakes it really can be a precursor to volcanic activity. And so the first one I found and I thought that we should look at is Mount St. Helens in Washington. Now Mount St. Helens is right here and these earthquakes that occurred were directly on top of it. And now I know they are small but they were each within an hour of each other. This one's actually really deep. I don't know what the translation to miles that would be, but that's 11.7 kilometers deep under the surface. This one that happened five hours ago, however, is right on the surface. And this is on top of a volcano, uh, probably one of the more well-known volcanoes in the United States. And so I don't know how to read these uh, seismic charts, and so I'm going to post it and hope that somebody can read them for me because I don't even know what the right area would be. Uh, and I already noticed that some of them are missing data. So if you know how to read these, or if you want to teach me how to read these, that would be wonderful so that I can do it myself. Otherwise, you can tell me if they look unusual for Mount St. Helens. Because, like I said, it's a small earthquake, but it was directly on top of it. And so it was at the surface. And that just makes me a little bit uneasy. Moving on. Mount Garibaldi, British Columbia, Canada. Now these next two are not directly on the volcano and that's why I wanted to get some thoughts from you guys as well because I see these bigger earthquakes right here, 2.9 up to 3.3 and I believe that they're all around the same depth as well. Oh, no, they're not. 
Okay, so that we have three different depths here with these earthquakes. And this whole area is volcanic, but I couldn't find a specific volcano. The closest one that I found was Mount Garibaldi, which I'm sorry, I don't know the exact location, but it's somewhere up here. It's far away from the earthquakes. However, the earthquakes are on top of volcanic area. So if you know this area better and you can maybe shed a little bit of light on why they would happen so close to each other right here, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, oh yeah, so I wanted to, oh, I can't look at it on this one because this is all American. So, okay, so we'll, we'll say Mount Garibaldi will be one to kind of keep an eye on. And then Clear Lake, California. This one's also not exactly on top of the earthquakes, but the area that it's on is all volcanic. And there have been a lot of earthquakes in this area lately. And if you live in California or if you, you uh, study earthquakes, you know a little bit more about it than I do, then you should let me know what is accurate and what is not accurate. Because from my perspective, I've been seeing a lot of uptick in this area over the past couple of months right here. And uh, they're all relatively close to the surface as well. I don't think that any of them are more than five kilometers under the surface, which is relatively close. I mean, they don't have much further to go before they're directly surface earthquakes. And so here's where Clear Lake is located. I don't know exactly how far it goes. Maybe it does go f as far as here. So we're looking about here and the earthquakes have been happening for quite some time in this area. So I thought that, that could be another one that we could look out for. So basically this video is me kind of asking for help with these areas and help on information and how to read graphs and uh, the how common the earthquakes are in these areas and stuff like that. I really want to just make sure that I'm putting accurate things out there, so I'm asking you guys to help me with as much of this as you can. So thank you in advance, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye guys!